Uh, today we have another great interview. Now, you know, um, I, I, I'm not going to say I have a beef with these people. You've always you got know? a beef. I, I'm not going to say I have a beef with these people. I'm not going to say uh, that I have an issue with these people. What I am going to say what is say? Uh, uh, they album cover say it all. They's married. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's the way it looked like. You know, right. it's, a, it's like I, I love the album cover. I love uh, uh, what they do. So I'm excited about uh, this cup, this couple right here. Mm -hmm. You know, because you know my pastor is. We just call him straight up Pastor Archie, right? Right. You know, what I'm saying. And today uh, uh, we, we're we're waiting as they are uh, uh, getting ready to come on. Uh, we we gonna get the the Archies on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. We got some more Archies. We got Pastor Archie in San Diego. Uh -huh. and We got some more Archies. You know, and they say, "Hey, hey, for the Archies." Hey, you hey. remember, you remember the monkeys? But hey, hey, for the Archies. Yes, yes, yes. yes well, yes. we are good to have them. All right, we got the Archies in place in the house. Well, Robert Earl Dean, we got another great one for yes, us today. Do. Who do we yes. got with us today? We have the one and only and the only ones, Pastor P. Archie and Bondaritha. Archie, welcome to the Wake Up Morning Show. Morning, praise Good the Lord. Good morning, praise God. How y'all doing? Blessed and highly favored like you. Okay, yeah, we're, yeah, we're yeah, excited. So, listen, listen, look at that, yeah. that vibe and that spirit. We need that early in the morning. Well, well I'm, I'm going to have you have you noticed that she got the light, light up on the side. Uh, why, why'd you forget Pastor Archie on the other side? <laughs> <laughs> share, the, share the light. Share the light. Share the light. Hallelujah. Because <laughs> Jesus is the light. Is it better? Yeah, they, there they, you go. They, they go. Take that. You got too much light on yourself. There you there go. There you go. Yeah. Oh, praise the Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. We got now, some good balance. Y'all get closer together so y'all we can get y'all all into the photo. Yes. Yeah. Amen. How, how y'all doing? Good, brother. Now, now tell me, good? where y'all from? I am originally from Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, but I live in Montgomery, Alabama, uh -huh. in the capital city. Yes. Yeah, oh. I'm originally from Chicago, Illinois. Uh -huh. I'm also, of course, here in uh, Montgomery, Alabama. Okay, now now I'm going to tell you, I, I got to say this. You know, uh, there, there, there is... I'm nervous about coming to Montgomery, Alabama. Now, although oh, I have, Lord. although I have uh, artists that I've signed out there, and you know, and everything like that, you know, I get nervous because I keep on thinking Mississippi burning. Oh God! So, <laughs> so this 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 help me with he this. He needs to be delivered. Help me with this, pastors. Uh, uh, it, am I safe to come to Alabama, Montgomery? Yes, yes, you're very safe. Remember what Dr. Martin Luther King said: "I have a dream." Uh -huh. Yes. So, because God spoke to Dr. Martin Luther King, yes. that dream has come true. Okay. Yes. So that's why we're here. And so to live out the dream. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. You know, the reason why I asked that question because, you know, um, uh, I'm originally from Virginia, but I've been mostly in California most of my life. You know, in California, we, we didn't know know about a lot of the uh, overt and uh, uh, discrimination. We had that covert discrimination where people were like, hi, how you doing? But then they just, you know, do all the stuff behind your back. You know, so we, we, we feel free sometimes. So we go to places and we say stuff and they be like saying, Boy, don't you say that out here. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, no, that is. Go ahead. It's nothing like that now. You would have to come out and visit. You okay. must come back and visit. Yeah, where yeah. Where your original roots started. Right. Rosa there you go. Parks. Yes, yes. It, now, he, I he, used to, he, let me say this before you go there. Mm -hmm. When Rosa Parks actually came to San Diego, I was on her security force. We had a big celebration for her when she came back to San Diego years ago. You, I think you were there, too. Was at uh, Mesa College? And um, all I, I, wasn't, I wasn't able to make that one. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. But, but, but he, he's watched too much movies. I had the opportunity yes. to attend Grambling <laughs> State, and I had a chance to graduate from the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. So I've been down there. And the people are wonderful, and they have good church in Alabama. Yes, this is where Alabama is the Bible state. Mm -hmm. So every corner that you go on, you're going to be able to go to a church. Mm -hmm. And it's a praying state All you right. know, from our forefathers with the background, you know, what they set for us. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, matter of fact, African Americans in Alabama is taking over. You know, okay. you're seeing our heritage grow up and... Uh, be more you know they're more entrepreneurs here right okay so let me ask you this question you know we're we gonna delve into it i'm gonna ask several questions so y'all get ready for it 
uh, 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 Sister Archie, tell me how you got your name and the foundation of your first name. Okay, actually, my mother, I'm a military brat. Uh huh. My mother admired Aretha Franklin. Yes. So, Bon means great from Germany. Okay. And she admired Aretha. So, Bonjourita. Okay. That's how she came up with my name. You, wow. You, you know, I love African that. American people is so creative. So creative. Ain't nobody going to have your <laughs> name, baby. Ain't nobody going to have your name, Bonjourita. All right. Uh, okay. Hallelujah. It's great and it's authentic. Yes. yes. Now, now here, here's the next question. Mr. Chicago, how did yes, you sir. meet this lovely lady? I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you it's, it's, it's a quite a testimony because um I was at church and they had were having prayer requests. Uh-huh. And so I wrote on my prayer request, I would like the wife of God's choice. All right. I stopped I stopped giving God a list of what I wanted. You know how you go through that when you're single. Oh yeah. God, I wanted it to be like this, mm -hmm. I want it to be like that. I just said the wife of God's choice. Put it in. The following Sunday, she showed up to my church. All right. Had never been there, been to the church before. It says God led her to come to the church. And so when she came and I, and I seen her, and uh, the spirit said, That's her right there. But Did I you hear music? Nothing, not some, some people walk and say something. I didn't say nothing but hi, how you doing? Welcome to the church, you know, like like that. And uh, and sure enough, as, as you know, time went by and it wasn't really that long, we ended up, you know, talking and fellowshipping and ended up married. See, 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 he was smooth with it. He, when he saw her come in, he heard the music, oh, and he went out there and, and, and he went out and, and he grabbed her hand. And right. when, when he grabbed her hand, she, she, she said, oh my. But, but he, but he prayed. That's but he prayed. But true. he prayed. That's, act, that's actually true. Because All right. He did shake my hand and rub my hand in the final way. And I was like, okay, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. She felt, she felt the anointment from his hands. That's all right. Yeah. He left that part out. Remember, yeah. remember, he touched me. He touched me. <laughs> so, you know, one of the great things about, you know, I love to see couples mm -hmm, ministry. Uh, in ministry mm -hmm. together. So let's talk about your ministry um, uh, of preach word, teach word, and let's also talk about your music ministry. Amen. That's 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 my pitch to you. That's let's talk about it. All right. right. All right. The the ministry is uh, born twice ministries, mm -hmm. you know, which comes from John three and three. Mm -hmm. Except the man be born again, born again. and I see the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. um, we call it born twice because you know it's, it's a new life. You mm -hmm. starting from a baby again spiritually, mm -hmm. and then you know, of course you know God is helping us to grow. Mm -hmm. So uh, born twice ministries is a variety of ministries. Mm -hmm. You know, we got women's ministries, men's ministries, the homeless ministry. You know, we we um minister on the street i do a lot of street ministry you know so we just uh any direction the lord leads us to go in you mm -hmm. know we try not to be in a box yeah you know so whatever direction the lord leads us to minister in that's the direction we try to follow okay. you know and of course we both we both sang and uh we were singing wait 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 wait, wait 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 let me stop you stop you there did you hear what he said we both he sang sang he didn't say sing he we said we both, both sang. sang go on that go means on. they can put it down go on singing <laughs> Yeah, you know, go ahead. And uh, you know, when we're out in Chicago, they say blow. We yeah, blow. right. But uh, yes, and so we uh, decided, you know, the Lord, Lord led us to start singing together. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? To unify it, mm -hmm. and everything. So we sing together, we teach together, and sometimes we even preach together. All right. right. So um, that, that we, you know, we operate as one. You know, Scripture says we'll the two become one flesh. So that's how we're trying to function for the Lord as one. Amen. 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 Now, who was also uh, with Born Twice Ministries, mm -hmm. uh, God gave us a vision of a street ministry mm -hmm. because there are too many churches inside of the wall. Come on. Jesus walked this earth. We are trying to reach the people that are unbelievers mm -hmm. because the ones that are sitting in church, we have a relationship with God. Yes. So, however, you have to go outside the four walls to reach the people that are standing on the street, Come on. that are homeless, mm -hmm. that need fit that need motivation yes. to we'll probably let them know they can do all things mm -hmm. through Christ to strengthen them. Yes. So the seven principles at Born Twice Ministries, number one, we try to edify salvation. Mm -hmm. Number two is healing and deliverance. Number three is teaching and preaching. 
Number four is a relationship with God. Well, number five is spiritual growth. Number six is witnessing and soul winning. Uh -huh. And number seven is worshiping and praising God. Yes. And we we just want to be authentic in Hallelujah. God. Yes, you sir. know, this is not about us, but it's all about Jesus. Mm. We have a show that airs on 104.3 on iHeart every Sunday at 7 o'clock p.m. Mm -hmm. My husband, we tag team the, the devil. We unify because Amen. it takes two. The Bible says, with two or more join together his name, Amen. it shall be done. So we rotate. He has a Sunday to preach. I have a Sunday to preach. And we do it all on the air from the house. We have it set up where I do audio, Adobe Audition. And God has just given us multiple gifts, you know, to, to give it. We want to give him all of us. We want to give our entire life to God. So we, like my husband say, we pray together. We teach together. We Amen. sing together. We do liturgical dance together. And we just enjoy Jesus. We're not holier than thou. We're not religious. This thing is about having fun because God wants you to have fun. Mm -hmm. God wants you to live an abundant life mm -hmm. and enjoy what he has left on earth because he went to the cross yeah. and died for our sins. Yes. Let me stop because you know I get holy. Oh, okay. Okay. That's good. Come on now. Preach it. Uh, okay. Ain't nothing wrong with okay. that. Okay. I'm going to have to put it. I'm going to have to stop you right there. Look, I left my organ at home. You know what I'm saying? Because right. if All I had right. my organ, I'd be like, dum, dum, dum. Right. <laughs> He's going to tune her up. Hey, I'm going to tune her up. Yes, yes. yes. Is, that, what key? Is, it, is it B flat? Come on, right, tell right. me. That. <laughs> All right. So, so let me ask you all this question. You guys, you know, not only seem to be a very happy and, and unified couple, but y'all downright the pretty people. So how do the pretty people – uh, uh, reach the folks out there that sometimes they say, well, they don't understand where I've been. They the pretty people. How do you reach those people that have been through and are looking for a new direction? I, I'll, I'll start that one by way of testimony. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm born and raised in Chicago, Illinois. Mm -hmm. So what, what, what look pretty been through ugly. Come on. Mm -hmm. Man, you've been through a lot of ugly. You know what I mean? We got the number one murder rate in the nation right now. Yes, sir. And Chicago's always been that way. It's always been a dangerous city. Mm -hmm. And so growing up there, you know, I have a testimony how God took me through uh, many, as they say, many dangerous toils and snares, but just yeah. dealing with city life. Mm -hmm. You know, I can give a testimony of what it means to come through, you know, through the, through the gang culture, what it means to come through and, and grow up around drugs and grow up around pimps and, and, and players and all this stuff wow. was going on. Racism was real, was really heavy in the city mm -hmm. uh, at one time. But I think just by way of testimony, you know, people, yeah. they, they always say, you don't look like what you've been through. Uh -huh. I mean, you got to let them know what you've been through. Yeah. And you got to let them know it was God that brought you through mm -hmm. and you just use it as a testimony. And that, that's the main thing I, I think is just, that's why they overcame by the word of the testimony and by the blood of the lamb. Amen. 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 So when did you, when did you first started singing? What, what did you, where the singing start and then how did it matriculate into going into the professional recording industry? I was an R and B singer for a long time uh, in, in the city. I used to do a lot of Johnny Gill and Luther and Freddie Jackson and, that type of that type of music. The good thing. Well, um, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, you you was up there. You uh, did you did he you was saying my my my? Did, did you did you say to to your to your 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 wife a house is not a home? <laughs> uh, well, I you said, have a video. Said, yes, yes, I asked you that. Uh, that's floating around now. We we'll have to send it to you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that little Luther for. But it was a wedding video. We uh -huh. made it, you know, theatrical and funny. <laughs> okay. I sang in Vegas for a while. I used to uh -huh. do it at the casinos and stuff, doing tributes to different artists, Jeffrey Osborne and wow. stuff like that. And uh, after, after uh, the Lord, the Lord came into my life. Uh, God let God begin to direct me in the area of music ministry mm -hmm. and and to sing for Him, you know. So and I like to minister to entertainers too, because entertainers go through a lot. Yeah. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. They really do. And so I have a ministry for entertainers as well. Now, I just got and a I question. Uh, I just want to ask a question uh, before I go over to Sister Archie. Uh, did, did you did you sing If This World Was Mine together? We kind of messed with it a little bit. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what I mean? We have a like, really like. Our wedding anniversary. Uh -huh. We played that. Yeah, Remember? yeah, yeah. 
So we'll have to send them a video of it. Yeah, yeah that see, yeah. see, I, I could see y'all killing that one. Yeah. <laughs> if this world were mine. See? Yeah, but I, yes. that's, a really good one. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah. So Sister Archie, how'd you get into the music industry? I've been singing since the age of two, uh, contemporary, different types of music. Mm. We're more so in urban. And um, I prayed and I was in choral music in college throughout and the choir. And uh, God had let it on my heart. You know, we grew up in the old school. Right. You know what I'm saying? What a fellowship. Right. So God said, you know, you need to reach the new, the newbies that are coming out. So mm -hmm. that's what I prayed about. That's why our gospel tone is urban. It has a good beat to it. Because mm -hmm. when I was out there, the beat, I was dancing for the devil with the beat. Come on. So you know I had to give it all I got for God. She just changed this. partners. Mm -hmm. Right? You just changed partners. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. So I just so, want... I, I just want, as you go forth, I want to know, there ain't no twerking for Jesus, right? All right. You know what? It's praises. <laughs> right. <laughs> did, did you see it? Did you see it? She was right. like, praise. <laughs> when praises go up, blessings come down. Yeah, you talk. know what? There is still a whole that dance that you can do for the Lord. Yeah. Because if he done, done something for you, you can't be still. You can't be still. Way, you, if you're on your job, you got to give him some praise. Come on. If you're in your car, you got to give him some praise. It's just you like fire. Hallelujah. What he brought you through. Uh -huh. He brought you out without a doubt. Yes. Hallelujah. Because you like think fire. you where you are today. Yes. Yeah. Boy, boy, we, we boy. like your energy. I'm going to have to come and get the tamarind out. I'm going to have to come yes. to, to uh, 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 Montgomery. Up, do that whole day. Yes, come on, I give do, God I some praise. My holy wings and do my liturgical praise. Yes, give him some praise. <laughs> yes, I love it. Yes. So, so one of the things about it, you know, again, it. We, we love your energy. Yes, Lord. Uh, we love your song. You know, I know that our program director uh, uh, immediately said, yeah, I want to put this in um, uh, rotation. Sister Archie, I, I'm the gentleman that you was talking to, uh, uh, trying to get it all connected. You know, when, oh, when you okay. was... She, Okay, she, she, she's like, look here. <laughs> thank you so much because you went above and beyond. And there are few, many, there are not many people that take things personal mm -hmm. or concerned about or compassionate about people. Yeah. You know, you just took the time out of your busy schedule and you returned my call several times to make sure that God's work got out to be heard. Amen. Because the song that we gave to y'all always on time, God is always on yes, time. Yes, he is. Yes, he, he wants is. us to yes. reach our listeners. Yes. Mm -hmm. Regardless of what you're going through. Come on. Yes. Our, our message in that song is to not give up. Don't give mm -hmm. up. Keep the faith. Keep yeah. the faith. And Amen. know that he may not come when you want him, but he is always oh, on time. He's Regardless, always on time. Regardless. You know, he, he looks at us, us all the same. Yes. Mm -hmm. God has no, you know, no special person yes. to be in front of another, regardless yes. of what you oh, have. Yeah. Yes. You know, you can have anything if mm. you put God first. Now, because the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his, his righteousness. righteousness. And, and all everything these things else be added. Add mm -hmm. unto you. Come on, God preach it. Your situation preach is. it. Just know God is going to show up and show yeah. out. Yes, he now, is. Now, I got this. This is my final question because uh, the, the way you answer this question is going to lead me to my next question. Do y'all have children? Yes, we do. Okay. So here's my question. How do your children deal with a hip hop down to earth urban reach, parents. reach the urban urban market parents? How do they deal with y'all? <laughs> you know, I compromise because you know what? I've been there. Uh -huh. Yes. Been there. But you know, once they heard the song always on time, mm. they said, Mom, we like that. We like yeah, that vibe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we can move with it. Yes. Give God some praise. And so we just intercept when they hear in that beat. Then when the word God is always on time, it's gonna intercede. Uh -huh. You know what I'm yeah. saying through the song. We intercede through the song. Yes, a praise. Yeah, that's what that's my what my son said too. He said, "Love, he loved that beat." And he uh -huh. said, "You know, he likes listening to that message uh, in there." And uh, so they kind of embraced it because he said, "You know, we like that y'all don't do like the old stuff because we don't really relate to that." Yeah, you know, y'all do stuff where we like use the beats that we like hearing. You know, so. And actually, uh, they're very encouraging. Um, yeah. We, in fact, they're like our um, 
A and R team almost. We okay. let them hear the songs and, and see what they think. You know, and, and if they give it a thumbs up, we you know we kind of ride with it. If they right. don't, we kind of okay. Well, maybe you know we'll go back and work on it. Right. Yeah. And then and then the setting. Mm -hmm. We do sing traditional and other types of gospel, mm -hmm. but it's, it depends on the setting. What group of people are you entertaining yeah, or performing for? Mm -hmm. So yeah. we ask God to be versatile yes. to fit in. Yes. You know, yeah. to to give the people the need. Because it's a time for praise and worship. Right. It's a time to for the upbeat. It's a time for the tradition. Well, come on. Amen. So, like Paul said, I became all things, things to all men. Yeah. Come on. Came, Christ. Okay, so uh, this is my last question. I'm going to turn it over to Robert Earl. But this is my last question. I'm looking at your album cover, and it looked like y'all going to the Church of God in Christ National Convention. You know, <laughs> all right, so, all right. so, 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 so. Tell me about the album cover because I'm seeing y'all today. I'm like, y'all the hip hop parents today, but on the album cover, y'all at the National Convention. Explain the cover to me. We were walking in the park mm -hmm. and God gave us a vision. We love to dress alike. We, mm -hmm. we have similar colors when we go out. Like I said, we're versatile mm -hmm. to the atmosphere yeah. to draw the people in, but let them know that God is an all on time God. Come on. And he he's he's there for everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. you can get a piece of him mm -hmm. regardless of where you are in your situation. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, he's there forever there to hear your yeah. prayer and to hear your cry. And it Amen. was Sunday too. We just come from church. All right. All right. So Robert Earl, let's 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 swing it up. Well, my question to you all is do you own your own label? We are independent right okay. now we don't own a label okay but we're independent artists stepping Excellent. out on faith and allow god to orchestrate what he wants to get out of this because it's all about jesus right. we want him to get the glory that's right you know and we just step out on faith when you step yeah. out on faith this is what happens mm -hmm. that's right you don't know which way you're turning you're just stepping out on faith and right. believing God, believe in God yeah. that he's going to perform a greater work as if he said in his word. Amen. So how can people contact you, book you, connect with you? We have a website, okay. drpastorprchie.com. Yes. Our, you can follow us on social media, Dr. Pastor P. Archie or Dr. Bonjarita Archie. Yes. Also, we are on all digital streaming platforms for mm -hmm. our music. We mm -hmm. have multiple songs on our digital streaming platforms. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, also, we will be performing at the Stellars Showcasing in July mm -hmm. in Atlanta. Yes. So we'll get a chance to meet other artists and network. You'll get well, a chance to meet us. We'll be there, too. Oh, wow. Oh, what the oh, fuck? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Well, 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 hold, hold, hold on. Wait a minute. Let me just yeah. say it. Because, see, when folks get ready to go to Stellas and everything, they put on their Sunday, uh, Tuesday, and we be like, say, hey, sister, it's the Archies. They be like, hello. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, no, they ain't gonna be like that. Y'all ain't gonna no. ghost y'all ain't gonna ghost us again. No, real, not real, them. real 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 bullshit. Like, hello, no. how are you? Not them. Uh uh. <laughs> yeah. and, see, and see today we have on our street ministry clothes. Uh -huh. yes. so sometimes you gotta get your hands dirty. Come on. Yes. To get in that soil. Yeah. To pull out. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? To rid the people in. Yeah. Yes. So like I said, we gotta get on their levels. Mm -hmm. We going out and stopping on the highway. We feeding someone that's hungry and giving them water. We don't want to be dressed up. No. We want them to come on to us because that's what Jesus did. He got on the person level. Right. So it's a time and it's a place right. for everything. We you want better them to preach see it. The love, not us. That's yeah. right. Amen. Well, well, well I, I'm just gonna say, uh, 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 sister, uh, sister Archie. Um, that bling bling. If if I'm a homeless person and I see that hat, I'm like saying, I'm gonna I, ask I, for it if I'm yeah, homeless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be like saying, sister. <laughs> I need more than just this piece of bread. I need and that I hat. Know, I know that that hat is an oh, anointing of money. I mean, not anointing of God. Right, right, right. No. right. We love you guys. Yes. We, we love your Conspiracy. energy. Conspiracy. Let's talk. Uh, let's talk about the album. Introduce the album. We're gonna rock it for the people. Amen. Okay, amen. So I'm saying, y'all tell me. Introduce the album. Tell me about it, and then we're gonna play it for everybody. Amen. Uh, the album is, is all about uh, the connection of the love of God reaching out to man. Mm -hmm. You know, thank you, Jesus, is, is about being being grateful for what God has done. And but always on time 
is, to, is talking about when you're at your bottom, God is the one that can raise you up mm -hmm. when you hit the bottom. As a matter of fact, when you hit the bottom, God's hand is there. You're going to land in his hand. Amen? Amen. And he's going to lift you up. And that's what that song is all about, uh, letting people know that when they hit the bottom in life, that there's a loving hand of God that's always on time to lift them up. And also to add to that, it doesn't matter if you have lost everything, because sometimes God have to empty you out mm -hmm. to fill you up with some good stuff. Mm -hmm. Come so on. we want to let you know that if you're walking, at yeah. least as you have faith to that job, mm -hmm. it doesn't, we want you to not give up. Mm -hmm. The race isn't given to the swift but, of those who endure to the end. Come on. Yeah. So you don't know what the end is going to be unless you last. Mm -hmm. Giving up too soon may be giving up on your blessing and God is about you're an inch away Come on. from that prosperity of what God wants you to be. Amen. So we really Amen. want you to know, you know, like my husband, the song is true. That's what mm -hmm. led it on our heart to write it. The mm -hmm. part that I sing, yes, he will. My grandmother used to sing that song in the old church. Uh -huh. when she was picking cotton. Yes, he will. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That yes, he will. So that's that part I put in. And my husband, he's telling a story on what he's gone through. Mm -hmm. So that makes the, the song more real. Mm -hmm. We want people to know that. Don't give up. At least you have your wife. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look what happened to Joe. And you always got Christ. All right. <laughs> Come on. A, you may not have a dime in your pocket. Come on. You know, uh, as long as you got God, you got Jesus. As long as I got King Jesus. Well, uh, 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 oh, she get ready. She, she shouting, y'all. Yeah. Oh, I, I thought she had got up and started shouting. <laughs> but, okay. but, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> what I was going to say, I, I love how she said my husband. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know that this is the Archies. Yeah. And the song is called Always on Time right here on GOD Radio 1.com. All right, come on, Art.